Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. It's the home opener of this new season between the Round Rock Express and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Now in the box, Nick Tanalu. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And this is popped up near second base. Govern is calling for it. One out. Standing in, Anibal Sierra, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1 1. Misses down below the knees. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3 and 1 now. Taylor Jones will be next. Full count now, 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. And this will also head toward the right side of the infield. That is third. The first baseman. In now Taylor Jones. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. At the plate, Jack Mayfield, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And the 2 1. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Drilled right back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. That is good. The designated hitter. Into the box now, Ronnie Dawson. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. The 2-2 down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The set and the 2-2. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He set. The 3-2. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. That is good. The catcher. Lorenzo. To the plate now. Lorenzo Quintana. Quintana. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Peterson is there. Makes the catch. And the side is retired. Bobby Witt Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Ball. Two, one. In the air down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. Striding forward now is the DH. DJ Burke is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Full count now, three and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. And that's the second out. 
in now. Nick Keith. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. The one two. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, so coming to the plate, Chaz McCormick. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hit down the line at first, fielded cleanly, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Stepping in, Drew Ferguson. He turned in a four for four line in the game yesterday, so we'll see how he backs that up here. Line drive base hit. That is not the right field. Standing in now, Stephen Wren. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play now for out number two. The third base now at the plate, Nick Tanelu. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. To two and two now. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Be the four hole hitter, Ryan McBroom. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. 1 1. Oh. Can't connect there, it's two and two. <laughs> Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Digging in, number 15. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. 1-1. Ties him up inside with a good fastball. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Stepping into the box, Jimmy Govern. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first. And with it, that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Anibal Sierra, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The first Digging in now, Taylor Jones. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The 3 2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Keith is there now, and he has it to God. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Mayfield. One for one after a single his first time up. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. 
And that's off the left field wall. The throw into second. Now that the designated hitter, Ronnie Dawson. Stepping in now, Ronnie Dawson. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. One and two. Here it is. Fastball well outside. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now batter. At the plate, Lorenzo Quintana, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a fastball, awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2 and 2 now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3 2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. Has... Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Now the relay home, and he is in there at the plate. It's now a 2-0 game. Now that is the left fielder. At the plate, Chaz McCormick. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Digging in, Kelvin Gutierrez. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Kelvin Gutierrez is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So digging in now, Court Peterson. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Peterson. The 1-1. One, one. Misses low. Good take on the curveball there. Two out, nobody on. Three and one now. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Slapped hard the opposite way. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Now that the hook column. Bobby. At the plate now, Bobby Witt Jr. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. New inning set to get underway. Digging in for his second at bat, Drew Ferguson. He reached on a single in his first try. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Drew Ferguson becomes the first out of the inning. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The three one. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nick Tanalu. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. 
working for the punch out and the offering fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away digging in once again Anibal Sierra he singled and later scored back in the first making him one for two so far and a full count now three and two and a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Late now is the designated hitter. DJ Bird comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Grounded back up the middle. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step the for out number one. The Stepping up to the plate, Nick Heath was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Throw into second, and this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. The first baseman, number nine, Ryan McBroom. In now, Ryan McBroom. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. Slow roller, left side. Throw gets him, two down. At the plate, number 15. He's 0 for 1 no thus far. The 3 1. He's swung on and missed. A full count now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Standing in, Jimmy Govern. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, one and two now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Number 39 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 39. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Taylor Jones. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Ball 3. 3 and 2 now. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Ready for another shot now. Jack Mayfield. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Next will be the designated hitter, Ronnie Dawson. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit back up the middle, reined in. One there, on to first to complete the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Lorenzo Quintana. He's set, here's the three and two. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning.
bottom of the inning now. Striding in once again, Kelvin Gutierrez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. To two balls and two strikes now. Fly ball out toward left center field. McCormick will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Into the box now, Nick Dini. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Bases are empty, one man out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready for another chance? Court Peterson. He singled his last time up. In for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Chaz McCormick. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. He's set and the payoff pitch. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Stepping in, Drew Ferguson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Keith is there, two gone. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Wren. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. Rip down the first base line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And now a pitch on the way. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Now that third base, Nick. So Nick. now to the plate, Nick Tantalou. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Curve ball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm and right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. To the plate now, Anibal Sierra. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Count even at two and two. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Taylor. Ready with the 2-1. And he might get them all home as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam! Junior Marte gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, Jack Mayfield. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. 
skied into straightaway right. Peterson is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping into the box, Bobby Witt Jr. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Grounded to third. He's got it. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. Now back, the designated hitter, DJ. Into the box now, DJ Bird. And this one's in the dirt. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. Now the 2 1. down and away but it's a full count now three and two not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up expect a good pitch to swing at hit down the third baseline but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two count is full here's the pitch and whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller Digging in and looking for more. Nick Heath. He doubled his last time through. Three two pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan McBroom. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One and two as he chases the slider. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. The second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Into the box, Ronnie Dawson, a hit in two tries so far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now batting. Digging in, Lorenzo Quintana. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Hopped up. Gutierrez is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So striding forward now, Chaz McCormick. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the one one pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a two-out single. So good work on a one and two count to get on base. Now batting. The center fielder. Drew. At the plate Ferguson. now. Drew Ferguson. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. Up with it. Dini. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. With a traditional Striding in, number 15. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The 1-2. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Now the 
payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Into the box now. Jimmy Govern. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 2 1 pitch. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The third baseman, number Settling in now, Kelvin Gutierrez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Well, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Once again, a 3 2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Riding into the box, Stephen Wren. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. All even now, two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So the batting order turns now over now and set to go Nick Tantalou. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Just off the end of the bat it's a foul ball and he'll stick around. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Number 15 is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Stepping up now, Anibal Sierra. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Line drive to center field. Keith will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Joe Biagini is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 29. Ready once again, Nick Dini. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Now batting, Court Peterson. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Bobby Witt Jr. waits on deck. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in to try it again. Bobby Witt Jr. He's working on a one for three thus far. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. And now DJ Bird. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung in a bad one there. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over.
Trevor Rosenthal enters the game from the pen and because this is a non-save situation it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Coming to the plate now, Jack Mayfield. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Mayfield. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Ronnie Johnson. Changeup laid off down around the shins. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Lorenzo Quintana would be next. And the count will be full. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Ready now, Nick Heath. He got under one and popped out his last time up. The 1 1 home. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now at the plate, Ryan McBroom. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Mayfield has a play. Two gone. So striding in, number 15. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Two out, nobody on. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Fouled away. Chopped in front of home plate. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 6 nothing shutout to finish off tonight's game. The Round Rock Express jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Forrest Whitley gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jorge Lopez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score, first for the Victorious Express, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Storm Chasers, no run, four hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.